go. Let the gap year begin. Welp, I made it to Hawaii. So after landing in Honolulu, I had to figure out the bus system in order to get to the other side of the island, the North Shore where I'm staying. So for only 275, I basically got the Oahu bus tour. Having never been to Hawaii before, this place is incredible. Day one in Hawaii literally feels like a dream. You got the tropical environment, beautiful wildlife, and insanely gorgeous beaches. Might as well be swimming in a bathtub. For those of you who don't know, I'm staying here through WOOF, which is Worldwide Opportunities on Organic Farms. Basically, I work a certain amount of hours per week for accommodation. When I got to the property, my room was still being cleaned, but I put my stuff down and I got the bike path beach tour by my guy Ocean. And then later I hauled my stuff up to my new place, which is at the very top of the property. It's 148 steps from the bottom, and yes, I've counted. Oh, I'm out of breath. I was granted this here tree house. It's pretty sick. It's simple living, all right, but it's got everything I need. Bunk bed and small kitchen setup, what more could you ask for? View isn't too shabby from the room. For a bathroom, I started with a pee bucket, but I've since upgraded to a lidded jar so mosquitoes would stop laying eggs in my urine. For number two, I go down the ladder and walk 20 seconds to the compost wood chip toilet. And then right outside of that, we have our cold shower. I've been taking a lot of those. <laughs> my BO has definitely reached a whole new level in this humidity. My first night here, I quickly realized I was not alone. There are always a handful of geckos in my room. But they're pretty cute and eat insects, so I don't really mind them that much. But the cockroaches, on the other hand, not so much. I've definitely always romanticized living in nature, but when a cockroach is crawling up your leg, it's not as cool as you might think. But at least those guys are harmless. The mosquitoes basically eat me alive. So my initial day here, I made my first grocery store trip. The hosts here do provide basic foods, but I'm not trying to survive off of just oatmeal and spaghetti. So I made the 12 minute bike ride over to the grocery store. Food land, a new source of life. That was almost a disaster. Got all my groceries, but one of the bags already ripped. I was planning on taking my bike home. It's raining. Don't know what I'm gonna do, but at least I got my bento. This is fun. But luckily I figured it out and managed to get the food up. And I've been living lavishly ever since. Here's what 175 bucks will get you in Hawaii. I've definitely had to get pretty creative with my meals since my only form of heating is one hot stove. My go-tos have been overnight oats, avocado bagels, and tuna egg and cheese wraps. You know, saying that out loud, that might also explain my BF. And I also make a lot of spaghetti and meat sauce because it's pretty easy to batch cook. Here's the final product. I got dinner for tomorrow too. What a life. And it's nice because I can also eat anything on the property, which includes a lot of coconuts, bananas, breadfruit, passion fruit, grapefruit, lemons, star fruit, papayas, and anything from the greenhouse. Just opened up my first coconut with a machete. <sighs> Very proud. Where I'm staying isn't really a farm. It's more like a large tropical property with fruit trees, a greenhouse, cats, and chickens. We have chickens, all right. My job is more like a landscaper and a handyman, but I've been enjoying it so far. I work nine to one, Monday through Friday. My first day working also happened to be the first death of any of their chickens. So that sure made me feel good. But work has been smooth since, and I do a lot of jobs like weed whacking, cutting overgrown grass, maintaining the greenhouse, chopping a fence down with wire cutters. I had to carry some bamboo up to the top of the property so we could make a barrier for the wild pigs. I took flooring out of one of the rental houses, and then I also scrubbed the yoga deck. The people I've definitely gotten closest with are my fellow woofers. Starting off with Ocean, who leads the woof operation here. He's a very fascinating dude and is super knowledgeable about plants and nature. My name is Ocean. I came here to practice permaculture. Then my work partner this past week was Guyon. She has been a lot of fun to hang out with, but sadly she concluded her time here and has moved to a different farm. Uh, my name is Kayon and I'm from Stone Mountain, Georgia. I came to Hawaii to woof. I recently graduated college and I figured there's no better time to go than now. Emily and Juliet are the other two who woofed prior to my arrival, but I still got to hang with them as they stayed nearby before they flew home. My name's Emily. I'm Juliet. We're both from Maine, coastal Maine. What brought you to Hawaii? Um, just my sense of adventure, I guess. I just wanted to explore and find some self-love. <laughs> and then outside of the work exchange, John and Julie, the owners here, have also hired me. They own their own bikini shop, Pakloha Bikinis. They just bought a new shop, so I helped them in with the whole moving process.
along with getting paid, they generously bought me Thai food, ice cream, an acai bowl, and Julie made us a delicious pancake and bacon breakfast. They have really been awesome hosts so far. Anyone staying here has access to their cruiser bikes, surfboards, which they have quite a few of. John has actually blessed me twice by taking me out surfing with him. The dude is a complete surf addict. He said he moved here when he was 18, and to this day in his 60s, he still gets out every day to ride his foil. It's extremely impressive to watch. Hello there. We just took Logan surfing on the North Shore. He's probably the 100th woofer that I've taken surfing, but uh, he seemed to embrace it pretty well. And uh, more to come. And here on the North Shore, surfing is what everything revolves around. So far, four out of the seven days I've been here, I've been able to get out in the water. I really like to take a board out to the beach. It's like a five minute walk. But I would definitely say I have a love-hate relationship with surfing right now. When the waves are manageable for an amateur like myself, I can get up and it's a lot of fun. The only problem is the waves are hardly ever manageable and I spend most of my time getting pummeled by the waves. Overall, I've been keeping myself pretty busy here. I like to spend my free time going to the beach, surfing, exploring on a bike. Biking in the rain, chain just fell off. Gotta love Hawaii going to church and their Christian surfers group, doing the bi-weekly yoga sessions, and hacky sacking has also been a pretty fun thing to get into. And then every night I try to make it back to the treehouse before dusk. Very tough. Cute little guy. Watch out there, Toady. Climbing up the stairs in the dark is kind of spooky. Finally, I wind down for a bit and then try to have the lights out by 10. Man, what an amazing first week it's been. It's crazy to think this is just the beginning. I love and miss you all. Peace.